In today's video, I'll show you how you can easily align your footer to the bottom of the page even when you don't have enough content on the page. So let's get right to it. Hi, my name is David and on this channel, I like to talk about all things I've learned about Elementor and WordPress in general. Are you currently struggling with trying to get your footer to align nicely to the bottom of the page, especially when you don't have enough content on the page? Then this video will walk you through two easy methods you can use to solve this problem. So let's see how it's done. So here we are on a demo page that I created about my fictitious cute little dog. As you can see from the page, we only have two elements which are the image and some text. But that's not enough to fill the entire screen. So currently we have the footer sitting at the middle of the page rather than sitting nicely at the bottom of the page. So now how can we get the footer to still sit at the bottom of the page regardless of how much content we have within the page. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Firefox developer tools to show you the CSS and then when we're happy with the CSS, you can now copy it to wherever you find easier to use. Some people prefer to use the code snippets plugin. Some prefer to use the child theme. But for this tutorial, I'll be using the Elementor Site Settings custom CSS and then I'll put all the CSS in there. So now let's open up the Firefox DevTools by clicking on F12 on our keyboard. Now that we have the Firefox DevTools open, you can see that we have a body element which just takes up the height of its content. It doesn't go beyond its content. And then within the body element, we have some SVGs which you can ignore. Those are given by Elementor. But if you go down to the bottom, you will see it has a header element, a main element, and a footer element. So that's the header section, main section, and the footer section. And like I explained in my previous video, it's a good idea to have the header tag, main tag, and footer tag for accessibility reasons. And I'm happy that Elementor were able to implement that in an update after I released the video. So now that we have that, how can we now get the footer to sit nicely at the bottom of the page. The first thing we need to do is we need to get the body element to fill up the entire screen because that's the only way we can now get the footer to be placed wherever we want. That means we have to give the body element a height. Then we'll be taking advantage of the flexbox properties that is given to us in CSS. We can use that to now rearrange the children elements to wherever we want. So now let's go over to the style editor. Then we'll click on the plus sign to create a new style sheet. Now let's first see what we're working with. So let's give the body element a background color. And I'll just make it a light blue. But I don't know if you notice, the background color is still filling the entire screen. Even though we said the body element is supposed to only be from the header to the footer. So how come it's still filling the entire screen? That's simply because the body element has a parent element called the HTML element and that element doesn't have a background color by default. So it simply inherits whatever background color the body element has. So now let's define the background color for the HTML element. So we'll give the HTML element a background color and we'll just give it white. So now we can see that the body element now only contains the header the main and the footer. This other section is now the free area. So like I said, the first step is to give it a height. So let's go over to the CSS and then just say height. But in this case, it will cause overflow if there's more content than is necessary. We'd rather give it a main height to say, okay, start from this height and then expand as much as you want. So main height should be 100 VH, which means 100 of the viewport height. So now you see the body extends to the entire viewport. Now that we have the body element filling up the entire screen, the next step is to now give it some flexbox properties. So display flex. When we do that, it makes it a bit funky because by default, the flexbox container has a direction of row and a no wrap. So it gives all of the different items to be in the same row. But we want it to be in a column. So we have to go back to our code and then just update it with a flex direction and set it to column. 
Now everything is back to how it was before. So now that we have defined the Flexbox properties and we've defined the height, we can now move the child elements how we want them. So for the next step, there are two methods you can take. The first method is to make the main content area take up as much available space as possible. So let's define the main element and we'll say that the flex grow should be one. So that's simply saying, let's use the inspector and then we'll go to the main content area. If you see, it was simply saying that we want the main content area to take up as much available space as possible. Now if you go back to the dev tools, rather than using the main, now let's target the footer itself because you can either target the main or the footer. So now we want to give the footer element as much available margin as possible. So we say, take up as much space outside you as you can. You can do that by saying the footer should have a margin top of auto. So now let's see the difference. If you go back to the inspector and now to the footer, you see the yellow area represents the margin so that you're giving it as much margin as possible between the main content area and the footer area. The main difference between these two is that if we give the main content area a background color, then the background color will only take up as much space as this area. It won't take up the entire screen. We can test it by going to our style editor and then let's give the main body area a background color of green. So now you see, it's only taking up this space. The bottom area is just like free space. Nothing is being taken up by that space. But if we do the other way around, let's comment this out and then uncomment out the first section. See now is the entire area that is taking up that grain space. So that's the difference between the two methods. But either method is fine depending on your use case. And the other thing you need to note is that rather than using the main, like the name main, body, footer and the rest. If you use the inspector, some themes may have a different way they label all these things. So you, you can rather use the class name or you use the element name, which is footer, or you can use the class name, which is elemental location footer. Both will work. And another thing you need to note is that this header, main and footer, they are directly children of the body element. If for your theme, the body element has a wrapper before it has the header, main and footer, then you have to target that wrapper rather than targeting the body element. So you target the wrapper element and then from there you use that to target the header, main and footer. So that's what you need to note. So let's go back to our style editor. Now we can remove all the background colors. just to show that everything works. So for the main, you can use dot site main and it will still work the same because that's the class name for the main element. For the footer, let's comment this out. You can use the class name for the footer as well. Rather than using footer, you can use Elementor's class name, which is Elementor location footer and both will work just fine. So now that we have the code working properly as we want it, now let's just copy out the code. Then we'll go to wherever you think is preferable for you. So mine is the site settings. So we just go over to site settings, then custom CSS, and then we'll paste the code in there. And that's basically it, nothing more to do. You can save it and it will work just fine for your page. If you found this video helpful, please do leave a like, share the video, comment, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.